My name is Stefan Kraus from Vitabytes and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to use the rivers and roads tool of World Creator. So first we're switching over to the uh, post tab here and select roads and rivers. And as you can see I already have prepared uh, a smaller scene where I want to place a road from one building to another building and down to the valley. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is just to add, uh, to click the Add Road River Path button here. Now you have created a path. You can disable a path, you can enable a path, you can give the path a name. I will call it simply Road. And all these settings are best shown by creating a new road so you can see how these settings would affect that road. So, now to um, to, uh, to edit a road that we have just created here, click the uh, click to edit road river button down here and make sure that you have add selected. Now switch over to the terrain and click on the terrain to place your road on this terrain here. So. Now, um, make sure to uh, click also the Align to Terrain Height. I will explain that, see what might happen. Uh, and let's see how it looks like. So, Generate button, and here we go. Now we have a road created on our terrain. You can see it. It looks a bit unnatural how it, how it goes, but we will change this very soon. So, now let's uh, step through each those settings here. Best is to uh, Enable the mesh, the road mesh again by clicking the click to edit road button so we can see what is going on here. So the first thing is the width of the road. You can increase it, you can decrease it to make it more realistic. I'm going to decrease this road a little bit in the width. The next thing is the strength. Um, this is best shown if I uh, show it like a bit of value like this. So you have now decreased the width of the road and I'm going to use the strength of the road so this will affect how the road is applied on the terrain and how the terrain will be deformed you can see that with a very low strength uh, the road is almost not visible and the more strength you add the more the visible uh, the more the road will appear on this terrain the next one is the smoothness the smoothness can be used to uh, blend the road between the the edges and the terrain. So if I'm for example increasing this value to the maximum of one, I will have uh, a very very smooth terrain along this road path. If I'm decreasing it to a value of zero, I will have hard edge uh, of the road. So a good value could be something around here. So we keep this. Now the segment offset again best shown if I'm going to see the road as is if I'm increasing the offset value that means that the segments created between these points are at the maximum distance resulting in a very hard edged road if I'm decreasing the segment offset I'm very I, I'm going to have a very smooth road that applies perfectly along this curve that I have been uh, describing with these control points Next is the noise scale and the noise factor. So uh, imagine it like I mean this lo road looks very unnatural because it's uh, because it is uh, it, it has very rounded edges. Uh, you can see that here. So this is not a natural road for a simple track for something like that for a medieval game or whatever. However, it might be cool for for a, for a real road in uh, in a real world samples right like like today having all those streets. But actually, in this case, it just doesn't fit perfectly to, uh, to the scene. So that's why you can further adjust a little bit uh, the irregularity of the road edges and further adjust it with the noise scale. So increasing the scale gives you these, these distances between the irregularities and the noise factor stretches them in addition. So let's see how it looks like. 
Okay, you can see it here. Looks much better now. Now maybe you could decrease a little bit the width again. Do something like a 20. And reduce the strength value maybe a little bit. And also uh, increase the smoothness a little bit. Okay, now, um, as you might have already have seen, there are two more modes, like move and scale. If you select move, you can select these control points and move them around, except like this. So with this you can just uh, adjust your road a little bit, and adjust the path a little bit, you can also move it up and down. but with uh, this checkbox a lot, uh, uh, checked here, it's not possible to move it up and up and down because it's perfectly aligned to the terrain. So make sure to uncheck it, and then you can also increase the height, uh, the the, uh, the the height, yes, the elevation of the road. Um, scale means that you can also scale the road at a specific control point, like this. further adjust it to your needs like this now okay so let's see how it looks like generate there we go you can see that road has been placed a little bit downwards here at this control point and now we have a quite a lot, nice looking road so make sure um, uh, if you're going to uh, create a new terrain with a random seed, please make sure to um, check the align to terrain height. If I'm going to do this, then each time I'm regenerating the entire terrain, so the, so the terrain itself changes completely, the road applies itself automatically on the terrain. So your scene will look ver uh, quite very nice. Everything will fit together, um, except the terrain will change. So, but um, the more important thing that I would like to show you is that you also can um, texturize the road only. This would go, for example, uh, like, let me quickly select a few textures for the terrain itself. I'm going to give it a grass texture. So please, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate in this video how to texturize the terrain, but instead I would like to show how to apply a texture uh, or a specific path like a road so I'm going to use this texture for the for the road together with normal map it's always better so like this and now you can select for this road especially the mask type road river and you will and you will see that all those paths that you have created with a name can be selected here currently we only have one choice that's a road if you now hit generate, you will see that the road has been textured with that texture here. You can increase a little bit the weight multiplicator for that one. And there you go. Okay. So now forming rivers um, is exactly the same behavior. All you gotta do is to uh, make sure if this could be a river, for example, instead of a road. Or oh, let's 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 just create another path. Call this a river. Let's make a sample river. Yet. So please don't take me for wrong if it doesn't look really cool. But for now, it's not about how to make this river look looking really cool. It's quite easy. Now you have edited, select the move, and reduce a little bit the height of the river per control point. This allows you also to create deeper areas, higher areas inside the river, giving you at least more flexibility, more dynamic to perform nice operations. So that's it. Generate. Here we go. Now you could also use the smoothing for uh, smooth it out a little bit. You could reduce the strength, maybe you could 
uh, for example, um, uh, create different width for the river. Sometimes quite interesting if you're having gullies like this. You would like to move it a little bit, making it wider at specific within specific areas, and you could do this. Um, could add some some noise also, making it more irregular. Like this maybe and hit generate. There we go, now we have some kind of a river flow water like this. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Uh, with a little more time, a little bit more design, uh, you can create also very nice rivers. This one isn't that nice, but uh, I, I, I hope you, you get the idea behind that. Um, please check out our other tutorial videos. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.